Hello everybody and welcome, I'm Son of Mogef. It's Monday and I am playing The Sapling. I did a little experiment last week, well, an additional part of an experiment I'd done the week before last week. I feel like that doesn't make a lot of sense, but you guys get it. And I got some great comments on it once again. I got this one, and I got this one, essentially saying the same thing, and then I got a bonus one right there, which uh, tickled me pink for some reason. I'm going to have a look to see if that is actually a thing that happens in game. I've got a world ready to rock and roll here. There we go, this one. There's a bunch of land plants. There are, they are, sorry, fairly simple, but they work. Uh, they spread out way more than I uh, originally intended. Look at all this, look. This is insane. And then I made a bunch of algae. Or oh, algae? It, it's the same thing said differently. Comments in the comment section if you say algae or algae, I guess. So there, yeah, we've got some. The idea, if you hadn't gathered already, is to have... Uh, an ecosystem in the water of carnivores and herbivores and or algae of alls and see if one or both of them will leave the ocean to go on land to fill a niche. Makes sense to me. So, I, like I say, I make the world preemptively. Let's go ahead and make a make a, 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 a algae for yeah a, a fish that eats algae. <laughs> God damn! Can I make it like really sea snakes? Can I make some sea snakes? <laughs> Not particularly um, imposing right now. Let's find a. A mouth here. This is always something that I have issues with. I've got to find a mouth that gives them energy from plants and not cut, not not meat. But I've also got to find one that gives them a good amount of time to live. I've used these before. I guess that's a good one to go with. Have a look. Uh, see, I'll probably use that one for the carnivores. Time underwater... Uh, yeah, see, there's not a hell of a lot of options here. That's uh, carnivorous. Carnival, carnival. Another thing would be nice to maybe up here, or up here, excuse me. would be to have a filter so we can filter uh, the different mouths by, you know, how they breathe and what they eat. I guess I'm using this one. It gives them a little bit of survivability on land, but not enough to make a difference, I don't think. Also, I just realised it's going to look odd on a sea snake, but... Never mind, let's uh, give them eyes. I tend to use this eye because it's just good all round. Do I pop, pop them? Game, please. Work with me here. I guess I can do that. It looks so sad. They, they need to be able to move. That would also be a good idea. Maybe I can do... Oh. Uh, huh. I want to kind of put them on the sides here. Nope, no, 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 that's, that's not. Okay, they're less sea snaky now, but... And I'll put a fin on the end of its uh, tail. I'm going to use the word tail. Okay, I mean, that's not, not awful. Does look like it would survive in the water. It needs a dorsal fin. I don't know why it needs one. 
just in my head it needs one. There we go. I mean, it's very fish-like. So weird. Let's go and pop that in the actual water. All right, let's make a carnivore. I just dotted a bunch of the other ones around the map, largely uninteresting. To find a good carnivore mouth. I said I was going to use this one. I think I'm going to use that one. To pop that right there. Let's uh, fatten it up a bit. I'm not sure what it's going to end up looking like. So, you know, that's a thing. Let's give it some fairly decent eyes. Oh, that one actually looks angry. All right. <laughs> Fair enough. What have we got here? So I'm not always using these fins. It gives them a good speed in water. Does hang on. Speed on land is a little bit. No, no, I can't do it. I'm sorry, that looks absurd. Uh ooh. Maybe I can like make murder penguins? Sort of. G game, please. For the love of God. Uh, let's pull it out a little. Mm, that looks bizarre. Let's do this. Let's give it some more of these. Oh, what have I done? This poor thing. Let's uh, give it... <laughs> Why do I do this? <laughs> Why does anybody let me create anything? It's so utterly ridiculous. <laughs> I I might just leave it like that. That that's funny to me. Rah. I feel like this wouldn't be in uh, wouldn't be terribly imposing, but it's good enough for me. Let's throw some of these into the world. We've got herbivores and carnivores in the world we've got trees and algae and everything we need for the experiment i guess i'll save this i don't think i need to anyway let's go ahead and make sure things are evolving i'll i'll, I'll set everything to evolve i do want to do like an experiment where i just jam these all the way to the top it, it should create some uh, abominations, which is kind of fun. Wait, did I do that properly? I did. Let's do a skippage of the time. I'll do about 2,500 years. Sometimes this can get a bit sketchy when you've got a lot of things in the world. Being a early access game, it's not horribly well optimized, which is understandable. Let's just see if we can uh oh see if we can get this to go you can see it, it's having a real issue it's kind of interesting to me as well from a development standpoint that when you've got not that much in the world it goes way faster than previous versions that didn't have that much in the world but when you've got a lot of things in the world, it goes extremely slower than other versions of this game where you had a lot in the world. That makes sense. Like, the faster bits are faster, but the slower bits are slower. Well, it's uh, been two and a half thousand years. I was worried that the game was crashing. It reached, like, five years and decided it was going to take a really long time on that section. I can already tell you the frame rate's not awesome. But I've paused time, which might help it a little bit. Let's see what we've got here. It doesn't look like we've got much of anything. Oh, no, wait, never mind. They just weren't rendered in. Oh, hang on, hang on. I can, I can do this. It does look like there's been a few changes in mouths. Let's see if I can see anything on land. Might have to give them some more time, which is uh, not entirely desirable given given the frame rate. Uh, 
Doesn't look like there's anything on land. Might have to go check the clade diagram. Hmm. Let's let's go and do exactly that. Turn off the plants and the algae, and I guess I'll just click by age. Oh, no, by amount, sorry. We've got this one. It doesn't... This one's, this one's weird. This one's changed its colour and I think its skin type. Doesn't really look like there's any... Uh, there's any one of them that can survive any amount on land. That one's developed bioluminescent nodules, I think. Or are they just bony lumps? I don't know. Let's let's have a look. It it did crash. It it did in fact crash, but I saved it previously, so it's it's all good. What are these exactly? Are they these? Uh it won't it won't let me put them down. Oh god. Those? I don't think it is those, is it? I can't get rid of them now. There we go. Is it maybe... What are these? Okay, my curiosity has peaked. These maybe? Ah, it's these! What are these? It, it's just a thing. <laughs> I'm sure there's people watching this that are screaming about the proper name for this. I apologise to those people. Also, what is this? What is this mouth? It's gotta be. Wait, wait, wait. It's gotta be. Looks very beak-like, doesn't it? Maybe one of. These? Just try it. Nope, definitely not one of them. Uh oh. Uh, I don't think it's. Oh, yeah, it's that one. So it became omnivorous at some point. Let's just uh, abandon that one and have a look what else we've got. Ah, finally! Finally, uh, about half dozen crashes later, I have managed to uh, do a little salvaging. So yeah, I, I tried to give them more time to evolve. Oh wow, I tried to come out of the clade diagram and it crashed. And then neither of my saves would load. Then I did a recreation, gave, wanted to give them like 10,000 years to evolve, it crashed. Then I tried 5,000, it crashed. What I've done here is given them 2,500 years twice. Specifically, not 5,000 years, 2,500 years twice. And it's, uh, yeah. Oh my god, I think there's just too many things in the world. I mean, look at all this. Going, I've got time paused again in a sad attempt to survive the frame rate. There is some meat on the world. That's a little interesting. Not seeing any actual, oh no, any actual animals on the land. Oh god, what is that? Oh god, the camera. Oh boy. Oh no. Uh, yeah. I don't think this is gonna happen. They're not gonna evolve to leave the water and get onto the land. I may try this again some other time, and instead of giving them fins, give them some kind of leg so that they can move around in the water just fine, but also have some kind of survivability on land. This is uh, related to a problem that I had in the last two episodes, that there is no survivability on land, they just all immediately die, should they even attempt to do so. Let's have a quick look at the clay diagram. Just, uh, oh, no, that's the wrong thing. Just to 
see how things have changed. Largely, they've just all become omnivores by the look of it. There's some change in colour and skin. Some of them lost their tails, like they're largely unchanged, which, again, on an evolutionary scale, makes sense. If there's no selection pressure, then they've got no... Oh, well, they've got no reason or drive to evolve. Kind of like sharks. Sharks have evolved, but they're mostly unchanged for, I, I, I don't know, millions of years. Just because they haven't needed to. They're so well adapted to their environment that there's little selection pressure to get them to do so. Yeah, it just looks like we've got a bunch of uh, omnivores. Oh, look at that one. That looks awesome. I like that one. That one might be my favourite. There is a lot of variety in the species. Oh, look, that that's uh, one that we looked at before with the nubbin changed colour. I'm not sure what else to call it. I'm just using the word nubbin. That one's got eyes on it. On, on its tail. I'm not sure how that's a benefit. Probably isn't. Yeah, see, there's some change in the mouths. These are all alive, which is pretty cool. Yeah, and this guy look, looks pretty awesome. Just largely became omnivores. Five thousand years worth of evolution is nothing in real life, but in, you know, as a simulation. It hasn't produced anything that's all that different. This one, is that a nectivore mouth? What is that on the side of this, this creature's head? Uh-oh. Uh oh, is it going to do the thing? Don't do the thing, game. Please don't do the thing. Finally, finally, here it is. It took ages to load. Oh, no, they're fins. It's, it's developed puffy cheeks and fins directly below its eyes. I kind of thought this was the... the nectivore mouth for a moment. Where is that? Yeah, this. I don't know if I can drag that off and put those on there um oh good god hang on hang on yeah let's see like that <laughs> that's what i thought it was it was not that well i think it's good time to bring things to an end i'm probably only gonna get a 20 to 30 minute video out of this and i've been recording over an hour it's just that the loading screens and simulations are taking taking a god awful amount of time which is a little bit of a shame yeah it, it, it crashed again when i tried to go back to the world anyway i think that's a good point to stop i can maybe try it again later so like and subscribe if you didn't do that already please do continue to leave your comments in the comments section it's always good to get them and they yeah they're very good so i appreciate the people that take the time to do that come back tomorrow it will be two video tuesday i will be doing more thrive and more hydronair so if you come along for that i'll see you then <laughs>